Hello and welcome to Funky Fox Gaming. I am back on Dust and in the last episode I made my way all the way down the pit. Uh, oh, I've gone the wrong way. I've gone backwards. Yeah, I made my way all the way down the pit. And, ooh, thanks. Oh, a shot. Um, Hello again, my friend. I suspected you would return. Found what was essentially country pumpkins. And, yeah, got a bunch more new missions to do. No point in me crafting it if I can do better than it anyway. Don't have any of that. Wow. Oh, poor fidget can't fly through. Okay. Well, can't slide through there. Oh. Fortunate. Probably gonna need that for further down. Ooh. Hmm, maybe not. Maybe it's further across. Go back this way first. Oh, maybe I can't. Never mind then, let's keep going left. Oh, come on. Ooh. Ooh, that was lucky. I 
Aha. Okay, so this is kind of mazy. Oh, I can't get back up there. Okay. Go all the way back around again. No, wait. That was a straight drop. Ooh, what's that? Oh, it's the hitting stick. I haven't found the old woman yet, but I have got the hitting stick and I've now got the slide ability, which will let me get through there. Oh, mistake! You found her! Now I can get back at that good-for-nothing trolk that done busted up my leg! Whoa, hang on, Blop. You'd better not pick any fights in your, uh, condition. Boy, this is a matter of honor! In revenge! And hitting things with sticks! Tell you what, I'll beat up some trolls for you. Bring me their devilish little fingers. Four of them. No, 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 40. No, 400. My broken leg demands justice. How about I gather four troll fingers just for you? 
Sound good? Ah, now that's my boy. Weirdo. Oh, that's the way I've got to go anyway. Okay. I don't even know what a trolk is. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Ow. I will get that timing right eventually. Fidget a bit more powerful. I saw one of you run down here somewhere. So, Trolk Fingers, do I have any already? Seven! I've got seven Trolk Fingers already. Oh no way, that's buying. I have none! Let's buy four Trolk Fingers! Your transaction? Watch your... Oh wait, hang on. Okay, so I don't have enough to stuff to buy things with. Okay, need to blow that up. Ah, oh, bollocks. Come on, there you go.
I didn't realize the right analog stick did the same thing as the bumpers. I'm oh, sorry, the triggers even, not the bumpers. I picked up a pendant, you think? Don't have enough for it. I'm assuming that will kill me. Too far. Your transaction. Thank you. Guy somewhere. <laughs> oh, they're up there.
This cap goes really deep. Did I just unlock their blueprint wise? Totally lost them. Oh, uh, hello, Shoppy. This is Fidget. We came from Mudpot seeking the one they call the Lady. Their springs have dried up, and I'm here to find out why. You would dare enter my domain and question me? Yes, the waters have stopped flowing. I was the one to stop them. Be careful, Dust. I do not believe she's used to being spoken to so casually. I meant no disrespect. Uh... I am Lady Tethys, 
and you will refer to me as such, with the courtesy reserved for all powerful beings of the realm. Okay, Dust, maybe you should dial it back a bit. She's getting pretty ticked off. Lady Tethys, the mud pots need your help. One of them is already close to death, but your healing waters could save his life. You, a surface dweller, would dare to question my actions? Who do you think you are, ordering me to release the waters of life? I would question the motives of any creature, deity or not, that would let their subjects perish without reason. I have felt the endless conflict as my waters ebb and flow through your land, surface dweller. I see this water satisfying the thirst of a creature much like yourself. A killer with a broken soul. A creature like me? You mean... He leads a great army across these lands, spilling innocent blood, and using my waters to give life to his campaign of hatred. I stopped the water, so I could stop the violence. But you are punishing innocents and guilty alike. Your own followers in Mudpot will die without that water. If their deaths are required to save this world, that is a sacrifice I am willing to make. You speak in petty terms. A person, a family, a village. Their deaths, same as yours, are insignificant to the greater good. Got a point. I sense a terrible danger, Dust. Prepare yourself. I have seen where your path ends, Lady Tethys, and I will not let you succumb to the same fate. Too many innocents have died already thanks to Gaius's campaign. So be it, Surface Dweller. If you would raise your sword against me, then prepare to have your accursed soul ripped from your body and purged in these holy waters! Where? So I was angry. Oh. <laughs> Ow. Can't move. Oh, that's not fair. Fire was the way to go. What? What have you done? Now some sense into you, I hope. I can feel the darkness slipping from her soul dust. We have done it. She is now safe. Are you all right, Lady Tethys? What is this darkness Ara speaks of? I saw what your general was doing. 
I could feel the souls of all the innocents he killed screaming for help. And I succumbed to that darkness, that desire for justice, no matter the cost. Justice must be tempered with mercy, Lady Tetris. Otherwise, it is nothing more than revenge. I must apologize, Dust. I see now that you wield one of the blades of Elysium. Had I noticed before, I would have treated you with more respect. Blades of Elysium? I will explain later. We have other, more pressing matters at hand. I know you feel like you are doing the right thing by holding back the waters, but Mudpot needs them now more than ever. Oh, the waters, yes! I only hope it's not too late. Indeed, though your motives were noble, I fear it did little to stop General Gaius in his campaign on the surface. Already I can feel his army's footsteps. They travel north, into the mountains. Then we gotta hurry. Ginger was on our way there too. Before you go, perhaps I can repay you for freeing me of my madness. At the base of the northern mountains, there is a grand estate. The baron of these lands is a man named Cain. He knew your general, and if you help him, he will be willing to assist you in your quest to end Gaius' campaign. And how do you know all that? Because I am attuned to the life thread, my dear. I can sense all life through the waters I send to the surface. Now, more than ever, I can feel the despair that all surface dwellers feel because of your general's hatred. He is not my general. Perhaps not now, but I can see you were once very close to this general guys. You can see into my past? Your soul is fragmented, like a shattered mirror. I can only see reflections in the broken pieces, and what I see makes little sense, even to me. Hmm. There are powerful forces at work within you, Dust. How a living creature could carry such a shattered soul is beyond my understanding. However, that doesn't matter now. She's right, Dust. If we're going to speak to this Baron guy, we need to get moving. Apologies, Lady Tethys, but we must make haste. There is a villager in Mudpot who is very close to death. I can feel it now. His life force is very weak. How could I let this happen? What... what have I done? We've no time to waste. Is there a shortcut back to Mudpot? Yes, of course. Right through here. Though I fear you may already be too late. We'll get there in time. Just you wait and see. I hope so, Fidget. Goodbye, Lady Tethys. Goodbye, Dust. And good luck. You have my thanks, Dust. Ooh, lightning. Ooh. parting gift from Lady Tethys, it would seem. That'll help when we need to return to the surface. But right now, we should find Bopo. Lady Tethys seems convinced we would arrive too late. We'll get there in time. We have to. We did everything we were supposed to. You have much to learn about the world, Fidget. Sometimes, even your best is not enough to avert fate. Come, let us make haste to the village.
Oh, I wonder if I can bring that explosive thing down up there, sorry. I should go down there though. What's this way? How many of your sheep do I have? You can find. Ah, uh, but I'm one shot. I. Where's the crazy old coop? There he is. Here you go, Blop. Four trolk fingers. Don't spend them all in one place. Woo, Daisy! Bet I could play the piano with these puppies. That's assuming I know what a piano is. You done right by me, son. Here's a little token of my appreciation. Tell you what, since you're in the hunting mood, maybe you could help me with my tape. I don't see how those two things relate. Also, I don't want to see how those two things relate. What's wrong with your teeth, Blop? <laughs> Aside from the fact that I only got one left, I've been wanting to construct me some dentures, and if you can bring me ten rockhound teeth, I'd be sitting pretty. Er, smiling pretty. While I'm sitting. I've been keeping track of all the things people have asked you to do, Dust. This is probably the creepiest one so far. You said it, Fidget. All right, Blop, I'll get you some teeth. So I'm going to guess rockhound teeth is hound's teeth. Oh yeah, from a rockhound. I just need a shop, really. Dust, look! The water's running! You did it! We came back as soon as we could. Where's your mother? She's inside with Pa. Once the water started flowing again, she brought it right in for him. Oh, look, here she comes now. Mama, look, they're here. I told you they'd get the water running again. Bobo, darling, please come inside. Mama? What is it, Mama? Oh, too late. He held on as long as he could, but it just weren't enough. Huh? Oh, no! You can't go! Just got the water running, he did! I'm sorry, sweetheart. I truly am. He was such a fighter. It was... it was just his time. And when it comes, there ain't nothing you can do. But we got the water running. We... we failed, Fidget. We weren't fast enough. Damn it! We weren't fast enough! Alright, calm down. Stop that moaning right this instant! 
You did what you could. You did more than anyone. And for that, you deserve all our thanks. You could have gotten the water runner days ago. But I think the hurt was just too hard on him. Huh? Didn't you hear? I got the water running! Huh? Ah! Ah! Master, let's give them a moment alone. Understand, we got the water running. We did everything we were supposed to. Fidget, it's like what Bopo's mother said. When the life thread calls for you, you must go. He was fated to pass, and there is nothing we could have done to stop it. That doesn't excuse this, Aura. Did you know? Did you know we'd be too late? If I told you before, would you still have tried to save him? The village needed its water supply. I would have gone to the lady either way. Then it doesn't matter what I knew. And it is why there is hope for you yet, Dust. What does that mean? Why is it that every time I make a decision, you treat it like some kind of test? What haven't you told me, Ara? This is not the time nor the place. And just what is the perfect time and place? How many more have to die before you tell me who I am? Who am I, Ara? What am I even doing here? Stop yelling! Just please, please stop. I can't take this right now. We did the best we could, Dust. We did the best we could. I'm sorry, Fidget. I didn't mean to... And stop worrying about who you are! You're dust! You hear me? I don't care who you were! I don't even care if you used to work for that general guy! Because you're dust now! Wise words, Fidget. Dust, your past is fractured, and your future is not yet written. But you have traveled through this world as a beacon of good, and that is all that matters. You're both right. I'm worrying so much about who I was that I've been blind to the good I've done as dust. Anyway, it's late. We should find a place to sleep. A wise choice. A night's rest will clear your head. And with these final words, we commit Popop's essence to the life thread, where he joins all who have come and gone, who were, and who have been. We'll be seeing you, old friend. Goodbye, my love. Goodbye, Pa. I'll miss you. Bopo. Thank you, Dust. Without you, we wouldn't have any water. You saved Mud Pot. I only wish I could have done more. Nah, you did plenty. You showed me what it means to be strong, even when the world's against you. Pa's gone now, so I gotta be strong for Mama. Strong like you. You're a good kid, Bopo. I think your father would be proud. I think so, too. I also think he's happy I found a friend like you. Thank you, Dust. I'm sorry, Bopo, but I have to go now. I have to get back to the surface, to make sure this doesn't happen ever again. You'll come back though, right? You gotta make sure you come back. I... I can't. Mm. I promise. Are you okay, Bopo? Is there anything I can do? It just doesn't seem real. Pa's gone and I wish... What is it? Well... I wish I could give him a proper send-off, you know? My whole life, he'd been telling me about visiting those snowy mountains on the surface. And now he'll never get to see it. Not unless I help him. Dust, do you think, somehow, you can try and get me some snow? I think Pa would really appreciate it. Of course, Popo. I understand. When I'm in the mountains, I'll remember to bring you back some snow. Promise. Thank you, Dust. Oh, thanks so much! Honestly, Dust? Snow? How do you intend on keeping it cold? 
This is important to him, Fidget. We'll find a way. If you can find all six of my Oh. Five of them, damn it. Are you ready to leave, Dust? I think so, yes. We need to get back to the surface and find that manor Lady Tethys mentioned. Yes, I know of the place she spoke of. An old estate at the foot of the mountains called the Sorrowing Meadow. The Sorrowing Meadow? Is that somewhere between Blood Death Gulch and Endless Pain Hill? It was not always called that, Fidget. It was once a peaceful place. But even now, as we stand so far away from it, I can feel something nefarious emanating from its foundations. Well, that's great! Really, I'm excited. How about you, Dust? You excited? I'm just thrilled, Fidget. Come on, let's get back to the surface. We've already done that. I'm gonna try and find me a shoppy. How did you get down here so fast? I've no what makes you say that? The waters did not resume flowing of their own accord. Of that, I am certain. Yes, well, we did what needed to be done. As must we all, my friend. What did you find down there? If you don't mind my asking. A powerful creature who was misled by her own rage. Fortunately, we were able to knock some sense into her. And for that, this world is grateful. Take care, my friend. Teeth. Your transaction is most appreciated. I like the lightning. The lightning is cool. I 
got the last sheepy. Here's ten rockhound teeth, Blop. I'm sure your new teeth will be the talk of the town. I think I'm all set. Thank you, son. Ain't no one gonna tell Blop he can't eat corn no more. <sighs> we found your sheep, Gappy. They didn't seem too concerned about being lost. I honestly have no idea how you carried those things around with you. But Thank you, son. You're good people. Here, have some wool from my flock. Trust me, this is prized stuff. You're doing good in this world, son. Folks like you are always welcome here in Mud Park. You're doing good in this... Very sparkly. Okay, I'm gonna head back to Aurora Village for now. There's treasure around here somewhere. I don't remember seeing any. Unless it literally means where I unblocked earlier. But I'm not sure how I would get into there. General Gaius, you asked for me? Your report, Commander. What news do you bring? Our scouts believe he is alive, General. But his actions are... curious. Curious? How so? He ventured into the Siramon Caverns and saved a village of natives. As I understand it, his actions got the water flowing again. If what you tell me is true, Cassius would never... No. Cassius would never. Keep me informed of the situation, Commander. That is all. When did you grow a heart, my friend? Most unlike you. So I'll now be able to get into several places. I couldn't before, like Gein's farm, 
Uh, just pass had a couple. Maybe the Glen had one, I think. Loads, but I'll head to Aurora Village first. So I need to head to you. Here are those materials you asked for, Fail. Great! Here's your payment. If you're willing, I could use your help again. I'd like to upgrade our weapons. Beast spears, while primitive, have finely chiseled stone tips that we can use for arrowheads. If you could bring me eight beast spears, I'll buy them for a high price. Please, let I'll keep my eyes. Much appreciated. Oh, I'm too sharp. Welcome back. Do you sell children's toys? Or more specifically, Nimbat dolls? A Nimbat doll? You mean like your flying friend there? I don't believe we have anything like that in stock. But I aim to please. I'm certain I could craft one for you, assuming I had the proper materials. Let me see. With some cotton fabric and dye, I'm certain I could make a wonderful Nimbat doll for you. I gotta say, Dust, I'm feeling a little uneasy about this whole thing. What's to feel uneasy about, Fidget? You're adorable. I think I might have him make another Fidget doll that I'll just hang on to. Forever. <laughs> I don't know you anymore. Ah, excellent. You've brought all the materials. Oh, good. Would you like me to make the doll now? Wonderful! Now, if your companion will just lie down on this fabric. Hey, you're not tracing me. Oh, well, I do need some sort of measurement. <laughs> we don't see many nimbats around here. Here, give me a pen. I'll draw it myself. Okay, there. <clears throat> Done. See how well I've captured every nuanced curve? Uh... See? You can use this to measure your doll. It's perfect! <laughs> no, it really isn't. Actually, that's the worst drawing I've ever seen. <laughs> Just shut up and make this stupid doll. Okay, okay. Just give me a moment. Uh, some cotton here, a few stitches there. Uh, maybe a little more cotton up there in the head area? I don't think you're accurately capturing the pure size of Fidget's head. <laughs> My head is just fine. You're the ones wearing those stupid hats. Maybe you two could form a stupid hat club. And voila! Another happy customer. And I even had enough material to make an extra one. No, oh, I wasn't expecting to actually get one. I guess I'll just have to carry it around. Forever. I actually feel bad giving one of these ugly things to Smobop, but here we go. I'm not talking to you anymore. Welcome back. Do you have spearheads? Yes, you do. You honor us with your patience. Here are those materials you asked for, Fail. Great! Here's your payment. If you're willing, I could use your help again. Oh, God. There's a rare material out there that I've heard can be distilled into a very strong lacquer for armor. Of course, I'm talking about slime. If you could bring me four slimy spikes and four slimy coats, I'll pay you handsomely. Oh, I even throw in a little extra since it's likely to be a bit, uh, well, slimy. Please, let me know. I'll keep my Much appre- I know I've picked up some slimy stuff, but I don't know exactly what. Welcome back. Yeah, so I've got slimy spikes, but 
No scales. I could remember where Flowbop was. This way, there she is. Okay, Smobop, here's a fidget doll for you. Better than the real thing. Ooh, she's pretty. Here, you can have this. Thanks, Smobop. Hmm, Bob gave it to me a little while ago. He found it near the surface, I think. Well, thank you. Enjoy your fidget. I love my doll. I love her so much. Love, love, love. Oh, yeah, beats box. You found it! Quickly, give it to me! Relax, Reed. It's just a box. Just a box? No, no, it's not just a box. Didn't you hear it whispering to you? The whispers, the lies. I'll say. They told me the box was filled with cupcakes. I opened it up and nothing was inside. Oh, oh no, 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 you opened the box! Why did you open the box? I told you not to open the box! Quick, take it back! I can't hold this! Hey, what are you doing? I thought you wanted your box back. I went through a lot of trouble getting that. Yeah, we had to find this girl in Mudpaw and then make her a doll that looked like me, then trade the doll for the box. Honestly, it was a bit roundabout. Do you know what you've done? You've unleashed the power inside this ancient prison, and now it will consume your very soul! Okay, Reed, I really think it's time you went inside and got some sleep. I think... Wait, what's happening to me? There's something... something wrong with me! Reed, what was that? What's going on? I feel... I feel... weak! Like something sucking the life right out of my body. Then it's already started. Oh, why did you have to open the box? I said not to open the box. Look, let's not dwell on the whole who opened the box thing. The box was open. That's in the past. We can't change that. We should be focusing on the future and, you know, less about me. The presence inside this box, it latches onto your soul, tries to take over your mind. The only way to stop it is to break the barrier between body and soul. In other words, Dust, you will need to kill yourself. Raid! It really is the only way, Dust. You mustn't take too long, or, or you could end up like me. You know what? I love this plan. I'm happy to be a part of it. <sighs> Shut up, Fidget! I can feel my life draining away every moment. Raid, what do I have to do? Travel outside the village, pick a fight with some monsters, and lose. If you do it in time, the presence latched onto your soul will be shaken loose and returned to the box, and you will return back to your normal self. That is, assuming you do it in time. Dust, you can't seriously be considering. Fidget, I don't have time to argue. I can feel it draining my life away. We need to get out of the village and fast! Oh! <gasps> Oh. Really isn't kidding. Ah. Oh, come on. Let me leave. Kill me.
that do it? Are you okay now? I think so, yeah. As soon as I took that killing blow, I felt something, like a weight lifted. We should check in with Reed. Yeah, the sooner you get rid of that box, the better. Okay. God, that was frustrating. Right, I'm going to save it. And end this episode there. In the next episode, we'll check in with Reed and then probably backtrack a little bit and go to some new areas now that I can slide. Uh, there's like some of the previous ones that I couldn't even get past the first area. So we'll, we'll check those out and see what's there. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.